Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear Brothers of Earth, I am Commander K. Lyle, of the Pleiadian fleet, which is located around your planet. The desire to come here and share some information with you is constant. Because we are on the other side of the veil, we are on the other side of the battle, another battle not seen by you. We, not just the Pleiadians, but all the brothers who are here, maintaining the balance of the energy of this planet, know exactly what is happening on this side, and which, of course, will never be explained or demonstrated by the media. Many see our ships in the sky. We are becoming extremely luminous every day, so that more and more people can see us. Our appearances are not merely for show, but to raise awareness among the human race that you are not alone in the universe. We are all here around you. Our daily lives, as you say, are always full of surprises and news. The battles are not over, but coming here and telling you that what is happening around your planet is quite frightening would not do any good. It would only cause more fear and more insecurity in your minds. We've been here a long time, we already know all the enemy's tricks. There are no surprises in how they will behave, and we have always been one step ahead of what they plan. Every day, their number on the planet decreases. Some are allowing themselves to be captured, because they want to change their lives, they want to change their energy. And they are very well received and taken to where the treatments are carried out. Changing a soul, created for evil, is not easy. It is not easy for her, because all the feelings, stored in every point, in every cell of her bodies, have to be destroyed, transformed into light. So there is a need for liberation and a great desire on the part of these beings. Many went through this process, remaining on the side of the light for a long time. Fighting side by side with us, against their own brothers. However, they often end up returning to their soul essence. We don't imprison anyone, whoever wants to leave, leaves. And we cannot also say that all our brothers, even Pleiadians, even Arcturians, Syrians, Andromedans, that there are no brothers who allow themselves to be attracted by the non-light. They are souls that, somehow, have not fully learned what you are experiencing there in the lower dimensions. Something remained inside, which was not well cared for, which was not well cared for, and even ascended souls can slip and return to lower dimensions. So we have our brothers, like that, too. It's very sad that we have to fight against our brother, who shares our same background. But we see energy, we don't see the outfit. And if that brother's energy is contrary to this entire process, he must be removed from the battle, so that it can be treated again and can evolve again in the future. Being here around his planet is not boring or tiring for us. Most of us are warriors and like battles, they have improved over time in war strategies and self-defense, and they really enjoy participating in all types of liberation. So we can say that we are a great army. Not formed here specifically, for your planet. Each race that is here is an army of combative beings, and has been for a long time. We are not inexperienced beings who came here to play battle with the enemy. We know every step we take, and that's why we are victorious. There is no fear of dying as you understand, because we already understand that the great precious asset that we are is our soul. Losing your physical clothes is freeing your soul, so that it can live as energy for a long time. Until you choose again, to imprison yourself in an outfit. Many choose to remain as souls, for a long time, without incarnating anymore. This is a right of the soul and if it is for the good of the whole, and if this decision is for your growth and evolution, it is a respected decision. The masters of that soul will know how to guide it, so that it continues as a soul, being a being of light of great importance. Do not see us as simple inhabitants of other planets, without experience and without intelligence. We have command, because there is a goal and the goal is not given by us. 
The objective is given by the great commanders of this process, but each of us is our own commander. We usually have this label of commander, because we are responsible for a ship. The ship, to which I am this commander, is one of the mother ships, of the Pleiadians, around your planet. Not everyone feels comfortable speaking, communicating with you. It's as if I was chosen to be this spokesperson and here I am. I didn't choose this position, I was chosen, and I have demonstrated to those superiors that our work has been very successful. Because every time we go into battle, we don't have the feeling of winning, of oppressing the enemy, we do not have the feeling of destroying the enemy. Our main objective is to capture souls, so that they are taken from the path of non-light, to the path of light. Of course, we defend ourselves, because we are attacked a lot. But the love we have in our hearts gives us the necessary security to know how to protect ourselves at every moment. I cannot deny that we have already had casualties, but not recently. The casualties occurred in the initial battles, which were really very violent. It's been some time since we lost any more soldiers, because the enemy's forces are ending. The enemy has not been wiped from your planet yet. There is still a lot to do. Mainly because some are incarnated in leadership positions on their planet. And this is now the biggest obstacle we have to move forward quickly. Trust in what is being done. You don't need to love us, we just ask you for respect and a lot of gratitude. We don't want recognition. These feelings are not part of our soul. We are long past that, and today, we only emanate love. We can't demand love from you either. We would just like to be respected. Gratitude is your way of saying thank you, how you use it, to tell someone else that what they did was good for you. But if there is no gratitude, nothing changes, we will continue here, until the final moment of this entire process. Now what we don't give up is being respected. But we are also fully aware that not all of you will open your arms to us, we know that. But at least this vast majority that says they respect us, that they love us and that they want to be with us, in reality, fulfill what they say. We are different, and you have a very serious problem regarding appearance. So don't expect from us, beautiful beings, within the beauty considered on your planet. We think we are beautiful. We find you very funny, because your human clothes take different shapes for each being. And this is very strange for us, because most of us are practically the same. We have already realized that, with some small exceptions, there are no equal beings on your planet. And that is very strange for us. Of course we have our differences, but not like you. Our clothing is unique, we do not have different colors. But we understand that this planet was populated by many different races, and today you are a mix of all of us. Their human bodies, we can say, are a complex organism, which combines the genetic lines of almost all existing races in the universe. That's why you are so peculiar, that's why the universe observes you so much. You are being watched, all over the universe right now. And when all this ends here on this planet, we already know where we are going, because many other planets will be liberated, in the same way you were here. So, we already know our next mission. And we are happy, because this is our nature. This is our sole mission, I speak for everyone here, within the Galactic Federation. Many think that we won't show up, that this is all to save time. We are not the ones who decide anything but the moment is very close. Many changes will happen on your planet, until the end of this year 2020. You see nothing, but everything is happening. And the more secretly we can act, the faster and greater the success of our actions. As a representative of the beings, who are here in your heavens, I would say we are very excited. We will like to actually contact you physically. And may you look into our eyes and see the immensity of the love we have for each one of you.